and uh, we'll keep you posted if we get new details on that one. A group of Western Slope legislators have introduced some bipartisan legislation to try to mitigate wolf reintroduction impacts here in Colorado. Caroline Peters joining us live in studio with a breakdown of what this means for Colorado ranchers, Caroline. Hey, good morning. The three bills introduced by the legislators work to do a few things. The bills aim to protect ranchers and their livestock. Also, they ensure CPW has the resources to mitigate wolf conflict and the money to compensate livestock owners for losses to wolves. It also fulfills that voter approved decision to reintroduce wolves by the end of this year. So let's look at the breakdown of each bill. Senate Bill 256, that would place a requirement that the state obtain a 10-J rule from U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service. This would allow the state to operate with them to manage wolves as an experimental population. It also would allow ranchers to use lethal action if they feel their livestock are in immediate danger. Senate Bill 255 creates a wolf compensation fund, which allows funds to be put aside for ranchers who lose livestock to wolves. And House Bill 1265, that would create a born to be wild license plate for Coloradans to purchase. This money would be collected from people who buy the plate and it would be given to ranchers and farmers to use for non-lethal methods to mitigate and prevent conflict with wolves. And I had the chance to catch up with rancher Don Gittleson. He lost two of his cattle to gray wolves that had migrated into the state. He tells me these three bills, that is what Colorado needs in order for ranchers like himself to believe that Colorado is ready for wolf reintroduction. I think you're seeing a lot of bipartisan support for the bills. Um, you know, I think you can see um, a lot of the people, you know, supporting their constituents about, um, you know, when they're going to have to deal with this. Advocacy groups who oppose 10J, they're worried the bill would lead to lethal takes against gray wolves. But per Senate Bill 256, if any groups decide to sue the state over Senate Bill 256 or over 10J, reintroduction could be delayed until all litigation over 10J gets resolved.